Go to chapter 5. First Thessalonians chapter 5. Verse 6. Now you got to ask yourself this question. Lord, what, what, what must I do to make the rapture? What do I have to do to make it? 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 6 says, Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. What does this mean? To sleep. Sleep means to be indifferent, careless, and unfaithful. Sleep, meaning that just like the ten versions, you didn't bring no oil. You didn't have your lamps lit. You didn't have no extra oil with you. And you didn't, have your, you didn't keep your lamps burning. Sleep, just like when Jesus asked the disciples, could you just watch with me but for one hour? But then when he came back, don't you know that all of those scriptures were also symbolic of the rapture and people being asleep, careless, to the point where you begin to say, it don't take all that. Unfaithful. Instead of being faithful. To where we get to the point where we say, I'm just so comfortable in my salvation. I'm so comfortable. You, you don't pray like you used to pray. You don't seek God like you used to seek God. You don't come to prayer meeting. You don't do the things that God has required. And I'm going to tell you something. One thing that we need to realize. You didn't just get like this. You alive. But when praise and worship is going on, you sleep. The word of God is going forth, and it's the truth. You sleep. But then you blame it on you didn't go to bed late, too late. But you went to bed late before y'all had to go to Greenville Mall. Y'all looking at me. I, 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 I'm just, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you because, see, I, I, one thing that is messing up the body of Christ is no one is pointing these things out. Even when you find your spiritual man dwindling, you should say, get yourself together. Even if I'm going to tell you something, it's going to take something. Even if I'm preaching and teaching and you're sitting in the pews and you just... I don't care what you say. You can't blame it. Oh, yeah. Because you don't go, you won't go to sleep at a, at a, uh, at a uh, Thai tribute concert. You won't go to sleep. You go to a, a T.D. Jakes conference. You won't go to sleep. You go to a Benny Hinn conference. Why? Because those are hitting your emotion, your emotional needs. Oh, y'all didn't want to hear me. Y'all are getting a, a uh, you getting a, 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 an emotional high that keeps you woke. You hear a beat that keeps you woke. We don't go to sleep at a football game. But you got to ask yourself these questions. Why am I like the way I am? Sleepy. Heavy, damn, cast. Eyes heavy. Why? Because when you don't feed yourself spiritually, it messes up your physical body. And the spirit, listen, the spirit of God is actually supposed to revive us. We're supposed to be resigned. No matter how, how late you went to bed. 
Your spirit man is supposed to be alive. And once you see your spirit man uh, uh, sleeping, sleeping, then you need to catch yourself. Go get some water. Go do something. Go to the bathroom. Put some water on your face. Because, see, it, it, you think that it's just something natural, but it's really something spiritual. It's something that the devil don't want you to get. You know how I know this? Because every Saturday night, I go to bed about 4 o'clock in the morning. I go to bed at 3 o'clock, but guess what? If it's time to go to a breakfast buffet, I'm up. Might go to sleep afterwards, but I'm up for that. Sleep. And then the Bible says, as others do. You have to be very careful, very aware when it comes to preparing yourself for the rapture that you don't do like other people. Just like I said earlier, you, you are responsible for your own soul's salvation with fear and trembling. You can't look at somebody else and try to imitate what they're doing. Because if they blind, guess what? Both of y'all are going to fall in the ditch somewhere. This is why you see people, they don't want to call people who have spiritual insight. When it comes to advice and when it comes to things that they have to, uh, uh, they need counseling about or whatever, they don't call people with spiritual insight. They call people who are out in the world. Because they want to receive something already. They want to hear what they want to hear. So you can't look at how somebody else is doing. I'm going to tell you something. If somebody else is laying out of church, then you don't copy them. If they want to be disobedient and end up in hell, let them go. You got to. I'm going to tell you something. You can't look at folks who speaking in tongues and shouting all over the church because usually when you see that, something ain't right somewhere. Do you know why? Because the Bible even says don't stand out in the street corners with all that praying and all that babbling with long prayers. Because all of that is trying to override the sin that is in your life. It's just the truth. So you can't look at somebody else and say, well, they doing it. I can do it too. They save and I'm saving. That's my brother. That's my sister, whatever. No, they sleep. You better stay woke. You better get some coffee or something. And matter of fact, you can offer them some. You can offer them some spiritual coffee. But it's up to them to drink it or not. See, we have to hold each other accountable. You see somebody doing something, it's okay for you to pick up the phone and tell them, hey, where you been? What's going on with you? If they get mad at you, they're guilty. If they get upset with you, that means that they are guilty. Because, see, if somebody lie on me, then I ain't going to sweat it because I know I'm not guilty. But a hit dog will holler every time. 